No names, darling. Are I've we hit sure? Rec- I've hit record. No names, darling. Okay. We can't mention the names. <laughs> we cannot mention any of these names, girl. <laughs> now that I've hit record. But yes, I'm sure there are people still carrying on like that. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll bleep all that out. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so um, I f- totally forgot what I was going to say while we wait. Uh, how these children are still carrying. Like, like, and, and. Bring let it. Me just, okay. Like if it was one person saying, Miss Honey carries, mm-hmm. you'd be like, ah, she's exaggerating. Two people, and she ca- it's, it, it, there's still room for exaggeration. Mm-hmm. But when everybody that you te- speak to is saying, don't you leave your Rolex around. Right. Ooh. You know, that kind of shit. Well, that's kind of, I mean, that's kind of rough stuff. Yeah, you have to be, you have to take it into account. Mm-hmm. Hey, Matinga. Hey, good afternoon. Darling. Hey, I'm doing okay. Technical issues like always. I'm so sorry. That's but you right. know what? In spite of that, Matinga, I want to say something. Yes. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. What That's the hell was that? I thought, it, I, I thought that he had passed away, but it was a Rickroll. It, oh. uh, it was a very dark Rickroll because it's like um, Rick Astley found dead at, in his mother's basement at 54 and then you click on it and it's him singing Never Gonna Give You Up. Is that where Rick Rowling is? Am I turning really orange? You I do th- look quite orange. You're giving a little oompa loompa. Yeah. But it's not, it's, not, it's not terribly bad. It's not terribly bad. Uh, no, Rick Roll is a bunch of different things, but it always ends with you ending up watching him singing Never Gonna Give You Up. Like it leads you to Rick Astley. Yes, Rick Assey. So I saw the- I saw that text that you sent a few hours ago about Rick Astley's dead and you're gagging. And bitch, I was half asleep and I'm like, uh, should I even respond? Because I know that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, a, but you know, I love Rick, Rick Astley. I, one of my first concerts that I ever went to see was Miss Rick Astley. It was a, it was a double bill with him and Martika of, oh Tin, my God. Soldiers, of Tin Soldiers fame. Yes. Yeah. Toy Soldiers. And- Oh, uh, toy soldiers, toy yeah. soldiers. <laughs> toy tin. Uh, bo- yeah, and... Um, Those were least- the days, man. Martika, Tina Mart- Arena. Tina Arena. Debbie Gibson. Uh, the one who sings... Um, uh, Boy, I've been told... Sapphire. Miss Sapphire. Sapphire. Sapphire, Sapphire oh, extravaganza. Oh, oh, yeah. She is a ganza. Yeah, she is. Is she a ganza? Yeah. Miss Sapphire? Yeah, girl. Uh, you know who else is a Ganza? The Spanish salsa singer. India? J-Lo? J-Lo. Not J-Lo. Gloria uh, Estefan? India? Selena. India. Selena. Oh, India. Miss India. I smoked a lovely J with Miss India once, and she got all witchy on me, because apparently she does witchcraft. Do you remember witchcraft. smoking a J with Randy, from the, the cowboy from the village people, yeah. And the one that sings, um, oh, what's the, is, is the female African American heavy set singer? Martha Wash. Martha Wash? No, no, she's Gloria sang Gaynor. Cla- classic. Joy um, Sims. Thelma Houston. Carmen de Puerto Rico. Mm-hmm. Yes, she would be in there. Oh. Uh, this time, this time, baby. baby. Be Lolita in, 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 in. Holloway. Yes. Is that Lolita Holloway? We smoked a joint with her and Randy from the Village People. You and I, Miss Boo? Yes. I in, I, in the VIP lounge or, or downstairs below where the Goonies used to hang uh, yeah. uh, of the VIP area. It is certainly possible, but I don't remember it, but it certainly put shenanigans went down in that VIP. And I know Randy. I, I do know Randy from the Village People. He's a sweetie. Yeah, it was very um, sweet. But I don't, I don't remember that. I mean, I do remember one time. Remember, beautiful Joe, gorgeous giant Joe. Yes. So he was a doorman. Yeah. And he, played, way, ba- he played Batman at some he point. He played somewhere. Batman. Yeah, he played at, at Batman park. in amusement park shows. Mm-hmm. But he, I thought he was beautiful. So one time, I was in the um, 
uh, VIP of sound and he was fucked up and he was like, he was like, boo, come over here, sit down. And I was like, oh yes. He was like, <laughs> I was like, yes, what do you need, puppy? And he was like, he was like, roll this joint, I'm too fucked up. And I'm like, oh, is that all you need? He's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, we're gonna smoke it with my friend, Bruce Willis. And I like, I'm like, oh, Bruce Willis. <laughs> I was like, wow. okay, I'll roll this joint for you guys. Yeah. Oh, that. Nice. What a celebrity sighting. <laughs> yeah, Joe was hot, though. Joe was oh, hot. my God. He was so Is he still alive? alive? I have Wait. lost you guys. You guys have disappeared. No, there you go. Okay, there you go. The last time I saw him was at, we went to the We went to the movies, yeah. The X2 or X-Men yeah. one or... And he was older, heavier, but still handsome. Damn. But still handsome. He had been in an accident, so he was a little. He was a little uh, bumped up. Right. But honey, I would have sat on that lap right then and in the movie theater mm. and been like, "Listen, honey, you want this? You want this wet and gushy? Ugh. You want wow. this wet ass gushy? Like, boy, I've been mold. <laughs> yeah, boy, I've been mold. They're cleaning you the things to do. Boy, it's the thing. So, but the point of the story is Rick Astley is alive. Rick Astley's alive. He's alive. But I gagged. You know, he's only 54. And I was like, no. Well, Miss Thing, first of all, if the story's fake, that age is fake. He ain't 54, bitch. He's like 60. No, no. He's about 54. Miss Thing. He's about because because uh, that's How song, old is Rick Astley? Because... The song came out when he was 21. 54. 54. Boy, I've been cold. He was 21 when Never Gonna Give You Up came out. Yes. Well, and take, you... actually take a close look at him. Even though he's handsome and tall, he looked a little bit like Clay Aiken. Yeah, yeah totally. A little darling. bit, a little bit, like a handsome Clay Aiken. White people, darling. White people, darling. Manly yes. Clay Aiken. Man, I, yes. I'm afraid to touch Trey Aiken. Computer. Every time I, oh, I like that Trey Aiken. Trey Aiken. Honey, my Trey Aiken. My Trey Aiken. My Trey Honey, Aiken for Joe, bitch. After Gay Pride Weekend, my Trey be Aiken. Mm-hmm. And you're afraid been, to touch your computer because. Because every time I touch my computer, it turns off. And How I about have don't, to touch don't, don't touch it? Don't touch it. But no I don't touchy. like that. I don't like that angle. Oh, there you go. No touchy. With your you homework go. shirt from our merch shop. All wearing we've got, black. We've got work. Yes. I mean, we've got merch. Oh, we've got work we've got, too, bitches. Oh, we've Stay got work tuned. merch. Yeah. Work merch. We do. <laughs> From so teespring. Teespring. Check it out. slash store slash workshop. I've been saying it wrong. It's teespring. Yes. com slash stores. Although you got hit. Workshop. You got hit with something. Something of ours was taken down. Because of a copyright issue. Hi, how sorry. Uh. My, my, I'd rather get fisted than wear a fur poster. Because I think because it said PETA. Booby, I told you this last night. Yeah. And you said change it to Cedar. Cedar. Mama no. Yeah. No, S E E D. Not not S I D A. No, not Cedar. I'd rather get fisted <laughs> than have Cedar. I'd rather get fisted than have Cedar too. <laughs> Before we forget, hello, welcome to homework. I'm Mike Diamond. This is Miss Fatinga. This is Booby. What an interesting intro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it had music, it had gossip, it had scandal. It had music and fire. It had intrigue. Let's hope we yes. can carry on like that. And today we're going to do another installment where we answer questions from Gay Reddit. Am I right, guys? Yes, yes ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Huh? And let's get some stinky business out the way first. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. If you think you subscribe, check it twice because YouTube is unsubscribing people. That's correct. Hit the bell icon for notifications. Follow us on the Instas and the Facebook and the this and the that and the other. Let's get to it. That's right. And also rate and... Uh, no, we're and not a podcast today. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I mean, feel oh, free rate to rate us anyway. review. Go rate, ahead. Yeah, rate and review us anyway. Do you know what? That'll be the challenge for the audience. This is the audience engagement for this episode. Review us in the comments below. No, we're but doing what if homework, correct? Really... Yes. Yeah, this is homework. But what if the episode's really tired? Before well, we, we do anything. Then we need to know that, yes. We need to acknowledge the winner of the haiku. No, bitch. Yes. That is also from the podcast. But that's part of the podcast. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Boy, you chop I've that been up. Boy, I've been talked. I'm not chopping nothing. Miss, Miss Booby, the other day, you sent me this cute little thing, of a DM, um, a message, right? and it was so cute, and it made me laugh, and I was like, that is so cute, and I, but I wasn't sure if the resource was legit, but I took a chance, 
and you I got bought it. it. And I bought it. It's, no, it's Statler and Waldorf dressed as the two girls from The from Shining. The Shining. <laughs> Can you see that? Yeah, it's fabulous. I can't believe you got it. That's great, but Miss Matenga. You froze, girl. Can you see my Justice League poster from behind me? Yeah, we talked about it last week. Oh, we did? Yeah. But that's what happens when you're trying to, you know, run a Zoom podcast using two chapsticks and a Band-Aid. Okay. okay. Well, Miss Thing, maybe stop investing in action figures and insulin and get yourself a working laptop. <laughs> and insulin. I need the insulin. But you need the laptop I need more. the insulin. You, but bitch, we don't sell cantaloupes out here. But did you see the T-shirt? You saw the T-shirt? I love kind of, the T-shirt. Yeah, the T-shirt. I live. Fabulous. It's okay. Statler and Waldorf is the two twins from The Shining. So yes. cute. And Wonderful. it was like kind of like, the source looked very like, I don't know. Kind of dodgy. Prince, kind yeah. of dodgy. But yeah. I was like, I'm going to take a shot because I want this t-shirt. And, and Honey was here in like three days. It's fabulous. Wow. Prince, yeah. Do you know what else could be there in three days? A new laptop. So well, I, Yeah, but do you know who hasn't worked in five months? This everybody, fag, bitch. This, this fag top right here. I, a top. Do you know, have you ever heard that song, Ragnar? A kagool. A a don't be ridiculous, darling. Don't be ridiculous. He's Go for it, Eddie. Kagool. What song are we talking about now? What? Boy, I've been so darling, somebody losing you the thing to do. Why would losing you be the thing to because do? Because he's doing her dirty, honey. Mm -hmm. oh. So her friends are like, yo. yo no, I thought she said leaving you the thing to do. I leaving you. I think she says losing you. I think she says losing you. I think it's leaving you. Leaving you, leaving you is the you, thing to do. Because le losing you doesn't make any sense. Like, Wasn't there also a song, a freestyle song called I'm Losing You? It was like a, have... one of the early BNGB tracks. Oh, um, oh, by the way, I bought that BNGB the other day because I was like, I got to have that song. I don't want to lose your love. Yeah. Mm. Who well, sings what? Boy, I've been told? Sapphire. Boy, Sapphire. My Superior. God, do both of you have dementia? Superior to the original. Oh, much, uh, much. Superior to the original. Let me tell you this while we stay on music for a second. So uh, a, a friend of mine is getting married soon. I haven't even discussed this with you guys. You don't oh, know her. You don't actually, we know? No, it's, you guys are, It's leaving you is a thing to leave, do. Because that makes sense. Because what, does he have cancer? Boy, <laughs> I've been told, losing you is the thing to do. <laughs> darling, all the cool kids are losing their lovers, darling. Yeah. <laughs> I like our version better. <laughs> so this friend of mine is getting married. You don't know her. She's up here. And she has tasked me with getting all this music for her. Oh. And she gave me a list and I got it all. And let me tell you, wow. I don't never ever want to go to a wedding, bitch. I mean, there was like, what's his name? Ed Sheeran? What's his Ed name? Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. I love him. There was some Celine Dion. Ooh. There, uh, bitch. It's uh, electric. Boogie, 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 boogie. Oh, no. It it's... wasn't like, no, it wasn't. There was no catch up dance. It was nothing like that. It was just oh. like all this like romantic what, bullshit. What is that? What is the one that they do at weddings all the time that it's like to the left right now? Like a line? To dance? the right right the now. The electric slide. Yeah. The electric is that slide. the electric slide? Yeah. And the, guys, the guy has a really happy and uh, dude. Crisscross. Crisscross, yeah. And everybody will get up and do it. Everybody, everybody. It's so cute. I mean, they I do not play that. Chris Cross. They do not play that at, at Latin weddings. At Latin or, weddings, you or get, gay weddings, or gay weddings. At Latin weddings, you get uh, that catch up song, Los Catch Up. I actually like that song. The catch up song, which I actually is like cute. That song. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 And of course, at Jewish weddings, you get Havana Gila and the Barbra Streisand Wet album. It's a not it's a not at not at your sister's <laughs> weddings. Well, at your my, sister's where you get cheesy, like, like 80s pop. Honey, at my family weddings, at, at my family Christmas, at my family birthdays, that's what you get. You know? <laughs> we're like, it's, you know. Yes, all, yes, there's an open bar, but it's like, like, it's like at like a, like a, like, like, a, like at a Masonic hall. Honey, my family, we're not drinkers. We're much more drug oriented. It's, <laughs> I'm always, bar. I'm always looking for drugs at your sister's wedding. And we always find them too. <laughs> we always find them. But we're not going to be specific about who we're talking about. Because no, no, would, no, no, would, no. That would be gosh, darling. Well, because you've got 25 sisters. It's true. Sisters, sisters. Sisters, sisters. Before we get into this topic, I have to tell you the most frightening thing that happened to me this week, and then we'll get into it. And by the way, I'm fine recovering from surgery. Thanks for not asking. Anyway, um... The other day, four days ago, five days ago, I'm in, you know, I'm in here and I'm like, I had gathered up some dry leaves for my terrariums, some, some oak, some cherry, and I had sterilized it in the microwave and all this. 
I was going to put it in my terraria and I'm leaning over. Bitch, I look up there as a man standing in the house, three feet away from me, standing there. And I scratch, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Bitch, I hollered. This man, six foot five, covered in grease. I'm like, hello. And he goes, oh, hi, the door is open. Sorry, I'm here to clean the oil burner. And I was like, clearly I didn't get the memo that this was going to happen. Oh. Literally, the guy was like right, like arm's length away. Then I took a good look at him. Mm-hmm. He was tall, ever so slightly out of shape, covered in grease, smelled like oil. Fine. Fine. Hot. Bitch. Like, the look in his eyes was like kind of dumb. Not too dumb. Like, he found his way to the furnace. But right. slightly, like, dumb and slightly retarded. A little, a little, with like a little tiny bit of a belly, but just smelling like grease, girl. Like, he'd been cleaning burners all day. So I tried to be classy, and I waited 10 minutes, okay? Then I went to the furnace room, and I'm like, um, do you like need anything? In my, <laughs> in my poom poom shorts, girl. <laughs> poom poom shorts, more like granny panties. <laughs> my, my poom poom shorts, bitch, trying to stand up straight even though my stitches were popping. Do you need it? <laughs> it's like, um, yeah. do you want to do me in my wounds? Exactly. That's what he would have said. He would have been like, I've got enough mm. grease to do you in that open, that hot, hey. wet, open wounds. I'm already you lubricated. I'm, you want to get, you want to be stabbing the wound. In that wow, that yeah, yeah, wet that, ass wound. That wet ass wound, bitch, it was weeping. But you know, Girl. that house, that house, which is uh, upstairs. And it was safe because I had the triple antibiotic, girl. That house is all, <laughs> that house is all white with really nice floors. Yeah. I would have been like, you need to step outside first. Well, so you I need didn't- to, first of all, yeah. I didn't get the text that he was on his way, okay? And so then, I texted Miss Thing and I was like, yo, I think you, this guy's here to clean the oil burner and I'm frightened and also kind of intrigued. And apparently I wasn't the only one because he had been to another person's house, my friend that's getting married and she was like, oh, he was tall. I was like, yes, he was. Six, and you didn't five. take a, a surreptitious picture or anything? I was afraid he might've hurt me or something. He was so much oh, bigger than geez. I was. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> Darling, <laughs> you know what? Wow. That, you Walling. Know what? Darling, Walling. I'm, I'm gonna go on ask gay reddit and be like what do you do if the oil man shows up in your house and he's fine and you wear him poom poom shorts okay. what do you yeah. do what yeah do you, do? you do you do I mean, that i didn't have time to throw on my bangs because you know that oh. that and thank goodness the, but that would have sealed the deal honey because then you would have you would have crept up on him you would have heard him calling a boss it's like dude there's like some faggot dude here in like poom, little poom, shorts <laughs> and like some weird fake hair like he's giving me weird looks and i, I i'm leaving bro i'm out do you need anything? <laughs> he was so like, fine. Like, do you need anything? <laughs> Bitch, I'll break out those bangs right now. But yo, it was so upsetting to me because that was the only man I've seen in like five fucking months. There's no men up here, darling. There's like woodchucks and old yeah. unhappy Oh, wait guys. a minute. What about the guy that, that came that when, with the accident that fixed the car? Magic Mike? Oh, that was yeah. years ago, darling. It was darling. months. No. Oh, that guy. Yeah. The other time I had it. I have a lot of accidents up here. You, yes, oh, you do. You mean the, Trevor, the real estate agent? Mm. That's not the first car you flipped. Honey, I would have flipped for him, bitch. He was fine. Yes, he, he was. was. Actually, he was fine. That was a piece of meat, girl. Handsome, meaty, and money. And, and bitch, I also covered in grease by the end. Mm. I thought you meant the other time when I flipped Roger's truck by the quarry. Right. And your chicken went flying out the and window? Chicken, no, that was magic. That was somebody else. But I could sit here and talk about all the men I ain't having all day. Let's get into a question. Who wants to kick it off? A question from Reddit. Uh, sure. I didn't pick any because I just didn't. Okay. I, <laughs> this was a question. I didn't read any of the answers because I'm going to provide my own answer. Okay. Right. Oh, it wasn't a question. It was a statement. And I've got some shit to pop about this statement. Pop it. So it said PSA. Oh, hang on. Where, what, which forum? It was Reddit. Uh, ask gay men a question. Okay. And it said PSA. And it said, if a gay guy, it, it's, I'm sorry, if a guy rejects you, it says, or ghosts you, it doesn't mean that they are shallow. All it means is that they're just not that into you move on and i have issues with that statement 
If uh, a guy, repeat the if, question. So if a guy, if a guy rejects you, uh huh, or ghosts you, uh huh, uh, it doesn't mean that they are shallow. It it all it means is that they weren't into you. Move on. And I and I have my feeling on that is that's true. But the thing is, though, if you don't like, if you're not into someone, if you're not that into someone, you must have the moral fortitude Fortitude. to fucking give the person a call and say, nah, not into you. I'm not into it. Don't ghost somebody. Ghosting people totally sucks. Ghosting people sucks. It's so weak. Do you really want to get a phone call from someone that says, hi, listen, I just wanted to tell you, I'm not that into you. But don't. (laughs) But no, I'd rather no, but just be ghosted. Not, no, but that's not how you. That's not how you do it, though. You know, if somebody's expecting you to call because they think that something is going on, right? Then you give them a call and you say, "Hey, listen, I'm feeling more of a friend vibe," and then you ghost them. But listen, I, I don't feel a relation. But you know, you're you're a good guy. You're a cool guy, handsome guy. Like you try and let them down. Listen, it's not easy. It's funky. It's crunchy. When you, you know, because they could come back at you and say, but why? La, 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 give me another chance. It could become like this whole thing. By the and way, that's, that's never picky. that's never persuasive. What? But, but. Oh, but why? Give me a chance. Show... Ah. No, it never is. If somebody's leaving you, honey, they're leaving you. That People always think, oh, I can get them back. No, right. you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. You might get them back into bed. Boy, I've been told losing you is a thing to do. Leaving you is a thing to do. And that's the thing. You got to have you got to have the moral fortitude to say, hey, babe, listen, it was a fun date, but there's no vibe here. I'm getting a friendship or a sister one vibe. date. One date. You owe them nothing. 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 After after one date, maybe not after one date, but nope. I get the feeling that if a guy rejects you or ghosts you, it's more than one date. And also, mm. Who the fuck are you to say, if I ghost you, that doesn't mean I'm shallow. Like, fuck you. Matenga, Booby, have y'all ever ghosted someone? Nope. I have. Nope. Booby? Yes. Was it warranted? Did you feel bad? I can't remember. I, but it had to be somebody you were dating, not just a trick. Like not oh, some guy you no, fucked. No, no. Not some guy you just fucked I've once. I never, never ghosted somebody yeah. I was dating. Yeah. I've well, always said we're, one we're, shing a is, trick. Yeah, is, a trick. Is, yeah, but then yeah. you get and then they like, text you back, hey, let's do this again, and you never text them back. That's right. fine. This thing. But if you're dating somebody, you what, gotta be say define, listen, it's define over. dating. What is dating? Like five hookups or more? What is dating? Yeah, I want to say four. five hookups or more. Yeah, four or five. I think it's if hey you, man, it was cute. Listen, if, if I keep on calling over, you. If there's a sleepover, you're dating them. Luckily, I don't do that. So I stay in the realm of the ghost. Darling. Because what if the guy like <laughs> name your autobiography? It, when you ghost somebody, you're not calling them back, but that doesn't mean that they're not calling you. Lock. You're not answering them. And so like answer them back. L- Lies, look, bro. Bitch. Um, you know, listen, you I'll didn't, munch my, you didn't munch my tray right. It was, I felt no vibe. I mean, Even if you have to be cold. I just think you, you, you need to be more decent, more decent. Like these little young queens out here, it, like I'm not a number, I'm a person. Yeah, if I suck your dick once, that's one thing. But if I, but, but like, okay, so there's, a, I'll tell you one time. So one time I went to, what was that club? It was on 7th Avenue and like 25th Street. It had a bunch of floors. I think it was called King. You remember? K- King was on 6th Avenue and 16th. And then it was like milk. 7th it? Avenue and 25th. 7th and 25th, bitch, that's Whole Foods. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, what happens after so I'm think, hours? Yeah, I'm thinking about King because King had several floors, right? It had like three floors. It had several floors. At one point, T-Pro was doing a thing called milk. Yes, yeah, by right. the way, Love T Pro. Yeah, me too. Love T Pro. Yes. So I met this British guy, and there was a closet room on the top. Right, darling. And uh, we were causing it. We're causing it and stuff. Right. He had the hairiest butthole I've ever, Lunch. ever, okay. ever come across. It was like it was like trying to rim Chewbacca. like a werewolf. Oh, yeah. Darling. It was like uh, there was no skin. It was just hair. It was incredible. And he loved the rim. And I'm like, and they're like. But anyway, I t- but we go home to his house. And we had good sex. 
cute guy, good sex. But like in the morning I woke up, I was like, that hole's too hairy for me. I wow. can't. Like the actual, the actual ring, like the ring of the hole was super hairy. I was like, I can't get with that. But like you woke up, up and you were already flossed for the day. I was flossed mm. and my hands were tied behind my back. Word. And so, uh, which is his power, just like he shoots. And uh, so I woke up to a lovely breakfast and like he's making plans and what are you doing today? And, you know, I just moved here and like, I want to see- Was toad in the hole, darling? You was know, it toad what? in the hole, darling? It was, honey, it was toady. It was toad the wet <laughs> sprocket thing is what it was. The hairy wet sprocket. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, let's get together tomorrow, see a movie. And homegirl was like, she was nesting. Mm -hmm. And honey, I was like, oh yeah, yeah. I ate my breakfast. And honey, I walked out, I sauntered away, I threw that number away, and I did never call her again. What happened to being decent? But that was one trick. That's the difference. That's one trick. And then also, you're acting crazy if I rim you once and you want to be, I mean, listen, I'm going to give you the lovely rim. Don't get me wrong. But like, if I rim you once and then you're living and you want to be my boyfriend, Wait that's too much. It's too Wait much. Wait a minute. You rim a hairy stranger in a fucking dark room and yes. he's crazy? Let me. I just I, want to get the math right. I t he took me to his apartment. <laughs> but you rimmed him in the closet room. I no. I munched Mama, him in the closet yeah, room. I, I did not video, rim it. Viewers, you, you waited. About three I was like, minutes. honey, I'm gonna have to take up macrame. Absolutely uh, uh, not. Yes. Now that's a yarn, bitch. Go, sorry. Is that like a plant holder? Okay. <laughs> All right. Ain't so, you got a vase, bitch? Anyway, so that's that's where I'm coming from with that. And I think that Booby, since Booby's the actually other decent person of the three of us, agrees with me that you don't ghost people like that, right, Boo? Right. He's like, you're a good person. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I try. But, yeah. Uh, hold up now. First of all, I'm the most decent because I keeps it real. I ain't trying to front like uh, I'm in a fucking Jane Austen novel, okay, with a remake starring fucking Emma Stone, bitch, no. I'm Jim Jim and Eve. Girl, you ain't even in a Captain Janeway novel. <laughs> I am with the maestro. Only Fire Chicote listeners will understand that reference, yes. but I like it. Um, no, because that keeps it real. I don't perpetrate that I'm all romantical and things, okay? I keeps it real. Let's be transactional. Let's get down to business, okay? And then I'm going to take off on my motherfucking car and get out, all right? You do what you got to do, I do what I got to do, and then we do what we got to done, okay? And doing it done. And doing and you it, and steal doing their it, and car keys. It. And you dash with their car. <laughs> yeah. Lies, bitch. Because you no. don't got no car, bitch. With my record, I can't be pressing up on a warrant. Nah. -uh. Mm. No, girl. Miss Booby, have you never ghosted someone? And have you never been mellow? I have ghosted plenty of people. Like after rimming them in a skanky nightclub on Sixth Avenue? And then knitting a sweater. Ow. <laughs> no. Okay, I think also, it's like this. If you also, you have a connection with that person, be decent right. and handle your business. Right, right. But if it's just Be like decent a, and handle your business. If it's just like a fling or like someone that you hooked up with and it wasn't all... Pfft, you bye. can't even remember their name. No, honey, I keep documents, bitch. I write everything down. Oh. Miss Honey, wasn't it milk that we went there on Gay Pride Day and you performed with Candace Kane and Kevin Aviance? Yeah. And you did... Uh, I did. Was that I did, milk? I, I did. Come on in my house. My house will come out. King. Come on my house. And I was so desperate. I don't know what to do. And you I, did not know the words. A bitch needs to rehearse. Because remember they had like those pipes, like air ducts and things above the stage. I was so desperate, bitch. I just jumped up and hung from the pipes. <laughs> Swinging like I'm doing some kind of dance. Oh, my God. No. Uh, bad times. Bad and all times. you knew the part was, all you knew the part, all you knew was, come on to my house, come on to my house, and come on, music kiki. Not too many kiki. <laughs> Baby, I was ho that summer, I was hosting a show there, and I was feeling real casual in my $10 strawberry summer dresses and flats. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Good times. Remember there was this, this group, these, I forgot their name, but there were these three black queens, and they got under my skin for some reason, so I introduced them as six ashy elbows. Yes. And they were not having me. <laughs> well, I think Honey Dijon was one of those queens, wasn't it? I don't it? think was so. She, you don't think so? I thought she was these one of those These were queens. nobodies from the Bronx, darling. Who and wanted to be seen? All I remember about 
about that Pride Day was that you came out, you did your, you know, who's a wanna gee gee number. And then um, Miss Kevin had been screaming for 24 hours, Kevin Aviance had been partying and performing for 24 hours and had literally lost his voice. His voice was totally gone, but it didn't matter because he was gonna lip sync to something. And so his voice is totally gone. And he came out and he lip synced to uh, uh, Patti LaBelle. Um, I think about you. I think about you, you. But the live version. And it fabulous. Was fierce. Ooh, it was Fab so fierce. You. Were you at Boy Bar when she won Miss Boy Bar? And with the, did, with, with, the, the, with she, the flower. With the flowers, yeah. Don't let the sun come down on me. And she, with the Olita Adams version with the flower. Oh, yeah, fantastic. yeah, fantastic. I'm missing all this. She better work. So, all right, so. The moral you of that were around story, though, Booby. You were definitely around. You were around. You I was were, ghosting y'all. You, she was ghosting yeah. us. So, Booby, what question did you come up with? And well, what forum? Okay, also on Reddit. Um, which was it Ask Gay Men or what which forum? Ask Gay Men. Okay. And this one is a little bit controversial. Gr bring it. I see, this it's a statement as well. I see more intolerance from the LGBTQ community for being Republican than I feel from the Republican community for being gay. And the answer back, which was interesting, was the reason why gay Republicans are frowned upon in the gay community is not because we're being intolerant. It's because Republicans, are, Republicans themselves are actively supporting policies which hurt us. Conservative politicians want to ban adoption for gay families, and these laws have passed in States like Tennessee, and then of course the Trump's Pence administration is not an ally. They're extremely right wing, and they want to con do conversion therapy. So, yep. What do you say to a gay Republican who is a good person I, and that you've slept with, but you but the, you didn't know they were Republican? I mean, and how do you how do you show tolerance? You don't. Anytime I slept with a Republican, and I never know beforehand. But if I find out, bitch, I burn those sheets. Of course not. Uh-uh. Nope. Don't do it. Nope. You know what? There's plenty of hot guys that have their priorities and their politics correct. Okay? I don't need to be fucking dredging the bottom of the barrel unless. Are we talking like I'm going to live in a gated community in Carmel, California? And a 6'5 oil man comes up in your apartment? Huh. No. See, the, okay, the thing with this is about gay people being less tolerant of gay Republicans and Republicans being less tolerant of gay people. Okay, Republicans, most Republicans, when they hate on gay people, they're hating on gay people for who they are. When gay people are slamming gay Republicans, it's because of what they choose to represent and get behind, okay? Right. Not for who they are, it's for what they are believing, which is, I'm gonna think of my pocketbook, I'm gonna be racist, I got mine. No, fuck that. No. Mm -mm. Bye. Interesting. I'm out. Matinga? I sort of feel that, that um, not like not every Republican is a devil. Not every Democrat is a saint. I'm a liberal, liberal Democrat. And uh, there's a certain ilk of Republican that I would not associate with. That said, um, my sister is a Republican. Michael, some of your family are Republicans. We have to deal with them. And I've and stopped not, sleeping with them. And they're not bad people, necessarily. Uh, no, uh, but, and, you know, but you know what the difference is, though? None of them are gay Republicans, okay? Right. That, it, adds right. a la it adds a layer to it of like... Of self-loathing. Self of self-loathing. And, and just narrowness. I mean... I, I find it harder. Yeah. But you know, we know uh, us. <laughs> was a gay we'll, Republican. We'll, we'll bleep that out. And, and we don't know that he is now. We don't know that he is now. But I remember talking to, but you just can't, you can't necessarily cut somebody out of your life wholesale. Sure you just can. because of, you know, I remember one time having a discussion. I believe in a woman's right to choose. We're going to bleep the name out. I believe in a woman's right to choose uh, uh, in a woman's choice. But I was having that conversation with the aforementioned person. Uh, person and he was like, no, I, I do not believe in a woman's right to choose. And I was like, whoa. whoa. And I was like, I was like, whoa. But you know what? I, you know what? You're six years into a friendship. You're not just going to say bye. You know, that wasn't the deal breaker. But we just had to agree to disagree on that particular topic. 
And I was like, oh, wow, like, he's a gay Republican. And, but he wasn't like a log cabin gay Republican, because I think he was more like a fiscally conservative and then kind of like socially Meh. a little bit more liberal. So the thing is, is that there's, there are, you know, just because you're Republican doesn't mean that you're evil, but I get it. I get it. If you're a gay Republican, you know, where are you coming from? Like, is this internalized homophobia on your part? Do you fucking hate yourself? You know, but, you know, but it doesn't necessarily, I'm not going to paint every gay Republican and say they're all bad because they're not. Uh, they're all self-hating. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there are nuances. Uh, I think we're past the point of nuance. I'm not going to say that they're all evil, but I'm going to say, I have no time for that bullshit. I, I haven't have no the time. time. If you can look around at what's going on in the world and be okay with that and get behind that party platform, boy, I've been told losing you is a thing to do. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, yes. Whoa, whoa. Oh, Sapphire whoa, whoa. herself told me. Yes. So, yeah, I am. Satire. Satire. I am satire. not. I am not. Yeah, I don't. I have zero, zero, zero tolerance for that. Nope. I hear you. I hear you. I just kind of feel like if we can't work together. together if we can't come together girl know that the time how for that are is we past, going to bitch. you know the time for that is i can't come together with someone that's okay with kids locked in cages and all the other bullshit that's going no yeah no sure, certain... is every is every republican down with kids in cages and 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 hating A gay people majority. no unless no. i hear them speak no. out against it yeah by by default then they are by default I... then they are I hear you. I'm just trying to say that there is a middle. Listen, I, I'm a liberal dad yeah, myself. I, know, I, know, I, know. I hear you, mama. But I just do. Listen, we've got people that we love that we know are good people. Mm -hmm. That just happen to be Republican. That happen to be Republican. But not gay Republican. No, I, yeah. they're misguided, but we love them anyway. Yes. If anything, I, what I feel for them is sadness, actually, and a little bit of pity. Yeah. But uh, it's a pity. But gay Republicans nope that's like you know jewish nazis or you know is there such a thing i'm sure there are uh, stephen miller i mean yeah oh god yeah. so uh-uh so and yes. a living back person yeah he's disgusting so booby that was a controversial question that clearly got me a little riled up yeah i see i, I take it seriously girl Take a step. My generation is the future. You guys were fucking up my future. Uh -huh. Talking about your generation. What is that? The Rolling Stones? Child, please. All right. So anyway, let's move on to a lighter question, shall we? Matinga, what you got that's light and frothy and not about ghosting or gay Republicans? Okay. So then I got this one. And this had 270 answers, by the way. I, only, I didn't read any of the answers. I don't care. But the question <laughs> is... <laughs> Because I have an answer myself. Because um, uh, uh, the question is, am I gay? Yes. If I like being pegged. <laughs> no. Why are you using the, the, first of all, why are you using the word peg? Okay. Does that mean, does that, person, does that mean fucked? Yeah. Because yeah. only straight guys use the word peg. Pegged, yeah. Well, yeah. so Matinga, explain what that is. So if your uh, girlfriend, you know, slips on a dildo or inserts something into your anus, you, she's pegging you and um, that's, you're being pegged. But usually it's like girlfriend to boyfriend, uh, wife to husband. And the, the, the short hooker answer- to John. Hook, hooker, hooker to John. Hooker to John. Hooker to John. Absolutely. John. Um, and I think that the, the short answer is no. If you like being pegged, does that make you gay? No. I, I kind of feel like this. If you like fucking women and you like them to fuck you, then you like being pegged. Mm -hmm. If you like stuff inserted into your butt, but it doesn't matter to you if it's a what? man or a woman, then you might be bi. Or a slut. Right. So that's the thing. It's not about, it's, it's situational. It's not, it's not the fact that you like being pegged. It's who's pegging you. And you who's could also, a, and a dude could peg another dude and the bottom could still be straight. Yeah, could I'm going to call straight. up on that one. 
I'm well, why, how, how could he still be straight if it's yeah. a, is, is because, he into is it is he into the guy that's begging him? Because it could just be um, it could just be he likes the feeling. You know, like those. Oh, honey, are, this ain't like flash are, dance. Well, you know that there are guys that go to a dominatrix, right? And they want to be pegged, they want to be peed on, they want like stuff to. But then they go home to their wives and they love their wives. Like sometimes it's not about. Yeah, but they're not. Go, they're the not person. going to S and M daddies. They're going to dominatrix. They're females. going to dominatrix, right? So gender right. comes into it. Gender does come into it, but that's why I said. Like, listen, if you want, if you're hot for a girl to peg you, you're probably straight. But if you're curious about a guy pegging you and you have sex with women, then you might be bi. Like, that's the thing. Like, it's not, it's no big whoop. You're probably straight. But like, if you dug it, if a guy did it to you, it's other. also, there's that whole bromance thing where like two bros will suck each other's dicks, but they're still straight. Listen, I have sucked the dick of a straight dude. Mm. I have, and they were straight they were straight like there mm. is that there's that dude in the closet that's having dl on the side that's one thing that's just you're fucked up and you're on the dl but then there are dudes that a blow job is just a blow job nah, and you suck that I dick and it doesn't buy, matter guess, you know what i don't buy it i think that's it's, like but you know what that's like a porn fantasy sp- i'm not like, saying it happens oh, all the time the frat but it's house. possible the it's frat possible. party was crazy, and I was Look, so horny have, in the beers. Whoa. You have you have here three guys that together are close to two hundred years old. Mama, you okay? are not one hundred and twenty. Please. And stop. and we have ideas about sexuality that are becoming a little outdated. And you call me a dinosaur? Outdated because Honey. you know that the you know that the kids these days. They don't even think about gay, straight. Like now you're gender non-binary. Oh, no. Now you're all these different things. Like sex is a panacea. It's far more fluid than we than, than our day. Than yeah. our day and our like we we are sort of trapped in the you way. You either a to straight think. boy or you a faggot. No, wait a minute. Day. Wait a minute. Right. I am dinosaur. I used to I say am no, not there's a dinosaur. No- now you hold up and you're gonna let me speak. Huh. Dinosaur. Bitch. Dinosaur. Miss thing I just said. Oh my That's god. All right, listen. Okay, so the kids today with their non binary this and their rainbow skittles that and the TikTok and the Snapchat and everything. That's grand, okay? And that's class. That's class. But you got a that's dick class. you got a dick coming towards you. I think you might be homosexual. I'm sorry. Call yourself what you want. They, them, this, the other. Weebles, wobbles, but they don't fall down. If you riding on a cot, bitch, I think you might be homosexual. Listen, I, I, sometimes we need to grow. Because remember, there was a, there was a time when I was like a little doubtful about uh, bisexuality. And I got schooled hard by Miss <laughs> who I happen to love deeply. Now I got so to bleep that out. Know, but you, no, you don't necessarily Stop have to. Stop using people's names. Make up code names. <laughs> just bring, call him and Haggis. So, just call well, him I don't Haggis. Think, the Haggis. I don't think he would mind. Well, and why don't you ask him, girl? This is making he, it work for me. And he schooled me, and he was like, girl, I'm bi. And Did he say, girl, I'm bi? <laughs> yeah. He said, girl, I'm bi, and I'm bi for real. And like, we're friends. Like, you need to actually understand that. You need to respect that. You need to know that this is something real. And like, he schooled me and I came to a better place on my feeling. And I, now that I realize that because remember, we did a homework uh, many years ago, years ago. Was real? And, and it was like, uh, and it, like, they sent us questions and we were talking about bisexuality. And we, we both kind of went, oh, no, bisexuality, more like just like a little a little off ramp on the way to gay and da 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 and we were just joking like yeah. we were basically just joking yeah and but you know like <laughs> uh, haggis haggis and a few <laughs> and a few other people like were like no baby like that's kind of closed minded of you and like it like i had to come to a better understanding and now mm-hmm. i also understand maybe not understand but have accepted that like you know, when we were okay when we were growing up this these three guys right here if I, you know, I never wanted to muddy the water so you of, of gay, 
<laughs> of exactly of gay. no that's how you muddy the water lovely yes uh, be, of, of gay i was like no i was born gay and there is uh, you know you're straight and i'm gay and i was born this way and uh, i deserve my rights and because we also had an agenda an lgbtq agenda to push forward our rights now there's not just gay and straight there's bisexual, non-binary, non-binary, all these different things, stuff that I had never had to deal with. And in my head, back then, that would have muddied the water of, no, I want me my gay rights. But now I understand, you know what, gay and straight, and you know what, there's probably out there that, whose sexuality is so fluid that you just can't put a name on it. You can't. I mean, I'm playing devil's advocate, of course, whatever you're comfortable with and you feel is right for you is what you should insist on in your life. Absolutely. Mrs. Yeah. Mrs. H Hello. Whatever works for you. Yes. And the categories are expanding and going back to your era, Matinga, I think you could have avoided a lot of all that confusion if you had just gotten them titties. Should have gotten them titties, girl. Should have got them titties, girl. I should have got them titties, girl. Yep. I've been living up in Jersey with my sanitation worker. Something husband. for, for Mr. the I should have got, got them titties. titties, girl. Oh, Miss Honey, that should be what? Merch, girl. Merch. Should've I should have gotten, gotten them titties. titties. Yes. I, I should have gotten them titties. Yeah. <laughs> I should have gotten them titties. Did I, I feel like I was trying to do a real... You should have got them titties, girl. What? Them titties, girl. You should have got them titties, girl. What, what, what? Them titties, girl. But I don't remember what that's from. I think one of your, like... One of your like weird ass bitch tracks. One of my boring that, like bitch every tracks. DJ. <laughs> one of your mayonnaise filled bitch tracks. Maybe it's mayonnaise. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> All I know is that the shit never came out. Miss Boo, I'm sorry I missed you the other day. It was my birthday, of and I'm I'm gonna be honest you got with lucky. you. I was having no. Oh my god, no. But I had uh, two glasses of wine and a shot of tequila, and I was asleep by nine thirty. And like, that's why like when I woke up and saw your message, I was like, oh, let me text this bitch back. Because like, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't, you know. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to have this glass of wine and I'm going to do a shot. And you know what? It was no fun. <laughs> <laughs> and I was asleep by 9.30. Wow. And I turned 50. So it was this past week. Happy birthday, darling. Happy thank you, darling. Birthday. Oh, you're a bloody you. 50th birthday, darling. I will say I got tons of love, tons of love online. All my friends that I love called me and left me messages. Uh, I got one or two cute presents. There's stuff on the way. Um, it wasn't um, it wasn't the perfect birthday, but it was, it was up. yeah, but it was perfectly low key. You know, the thing is, is like. I might not have done anything anyway, but the keep fact talking, that I keep couldn't talking. do anything. Keep talking, I'll be right back. Keep talking, the fact that I play. couldn't do anything. So it was low key. It wasn't bad. I will say that like there were moments where um, despair tried to creep yeah. in. Not because I was getting older, because like I still feel sexy and I still feel good. And, you know, it was just like, wow, like I would have liked to go out to yeah. dinner. And, do and, shit. and I would have liked, yeah, and get a hug and give a kiss and uh but i got tons of love online and my and i know my friends love me and uh yeah. so yeah matinga turned the page and girl you know, 50 s s juicy and uh, incredible thick and juicy and i think you handled it really well and it's very inspirational to me so that when i turn that big number i'm going to follow your example and do it with a little bit of grace and Grace Lee Whitney from Star Trek. And so this isn't a birthday thing, but it's something I'm going to mail you. I was in the store yesterday. Grace Sabrisky. And I saw this. And if you keep it up, I'm not going to mail it to you. But I saw this and I thought of you. So expect this in the mail soon. It's 150 Wonder Woman stickers. Word. I'll take them. Woo. Including oh. glitter stickers and puffy stickers. Look at these puffy bitches, bitch. Look at that. Oh I my love God. it. So I, I said, you know what? Let me get that from this thing. I will take it. I will mail that to you. Thank you. So Wonder Woman out there in the audience, I hope, we hope that you have enjoyed this amazing, amazing installment of homework. If you want to support what we do here, the good works that we do for the children, feel free to hit us up on Patreon and Venmo and or Venmo. We are Workshop, W-E-R-Q-S-H-O-P. 
and please like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon up there, uh, and uh, that way you will be informed each and every time that we put out a new piece of material, and we are so thrilled that you uh, spent yet another week with us, the crew here at Homework. And also rape and review us. Rape, rape and, and review, review us. Oh, don't be triggering In the, the comments, bitches. darling. In the comments, darling. And if you want some lovely merch, like Matinga is sporting right there, you can go to teespring.com slash stores slash workshop. That'd be so they, messed up if you got a rape and review. You get raped and it was like, ah, you were yeah. just all right. Yeah. Yeah, he cried a little bit, but not that tight. But not I'm that gonna tight. I'm going to ghost you. <laughs> I think I'm going to ghost him. You know. <laughs> Yo, that's a question for Reddit. What do you do when your rapist ghosts you? And then rates and reviews you badly. Oh, that's rough. Let's not even start that. <laughs> That pussy was Do you not know wet. what? I think I may have been date raped on Fire Island. May. But, <laughs> may. But I'm, but I'm not sure because I left one of my socks in his room and he was gentleman enough to leave it on my doorknob in the morning. Oh. So I don't know if I was assaulted or not because he did have manners. But, but by doorknob, you mean your left hip. <laughs> <laughs> no, honey, at this point, they're doing knockers, bitch. They're hanging so low. <laughs> trust. All trust. right. This is homework. I'm Mike Diamond. This is Miss Matinga. And this is movie. You have not been learned. Stop, 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 stop.